Hello everyone, this is Andy Mello from Mello Fab. Gonna do a little tech video today, uh, inner tie rod replacement. It's actually gonna be on my Yamaha Viking, but that doesn't matter. Some people wanna see exact specific installs. Uh, this, this particular video pertains to anything. Uh, Razor, all Yamaha models from Viking to R-Max, Razor, Terex, whatever you wanna name. Uh, I'm gonna show an adjustment or a measurement actually that you can take uh, pre-repair uh, to get everything back together exactly like it was a lot of you know this some of you might not um, however if you're happy with your toe and your tire wear before you replace a tie rod or inner tie rod and you don't want to fight the constant battle of is my toe right jacking it up letting it down backing it up adjusting everything uh, this is a measurement you can take to pretty much put it dead on every time and uh, ensure your toe is where it was before you started the repair. So now we're gonna go out to the machine and I'm gonna show you a few little pointers. Okay, I'm on the machine now. My particular machine has uh, some custom built tie rods, which are heavy duty, but I've done some really, really, really hard riding. The outside hind joints are hanging in great, but the inner has wore out, which is fairly common in the type of riding conditions I've done. But uh, the measurement you're going to take, I'll show you on a factory tie rod assembly. I keep this with me in case I ever had an issue. This is the factory assembly. The measurement you would want to take to ensure that you put it back exactly like it was is from the edge lip of here where it goes to the rack. You can hook your tape measure when you get the boot slid down all the way to the center of this cap right here where my thumb's at. You don't really want to go here because although they might look identical, depending on the brand of tie rod you get or even the same tie rod, in the machining process, if you measure to there, you could end up doing uh, some adjustments when you let it down or multiple adjustments. But if you will measure from a solid point like this on this particular tie rod, to the center of the outer tie rod joint and assemble your new assembly the same, you will be exactly like you were, if you're happy with your adjustment. On the enters on this particular setup, I'm gonna measure from this solid fixed point right here where my finger is. I'm gonna take it all apart. I'm gonna screw it in and I'm gonna measure from that point all the way down the tube to the center of this hime. And I know when I put it all back together, it'll be the exact measurement as this, and there will be no crazy adjustments once I get it all down in a constant battle to get it right. Hope that little tutorial helps someone out there. If you're doing your tie rods, never done it before, thinking about doing it, however, however it works, you say you got your toes set special for your machine or just want to go back exactly where you were, um, and you don't have to deal with a bunch of adjustments later, you don't have to go exactly where I showed you. Just some fixed point on the machine, face of the rack, anything works. You just go out to the center of that outer tie rod and go back the same, and you'll be set up exactly where you were. Uh, stay tuned to Mellow Fab. Uh, got the Viking bumpers coming out. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, you R-Max guys got a few things uh, cooking around for that. Um, so everyone have a nice day.